if the future of sneakers meant that you never had to worry about the size of your shoes again because every pair was custom made for your feet? Well, this is the Zellerfeld 3D printed sneaker that promises just that. And for the first time ever, I ordered a pair of shoes without ever telling them my shoe size. All I did was go on the app, choose what color I wanted, scan my feet, and they're here. So let's find out if they actually fit. All right, so first time trying these things on. So I haven't, I haven't tried them on, I literally took them out of the box. Now we're gonna see if they fit. They look kind of small, to be honest. The inside immediately is pretty grippy. Damn, that feels good, right? That is actually insane. Zellerfeld is a company that has the potential to change the sneaker world forever. And its plans are so big that Tesla, SpaceX, and PayPal are all invested in this company. In fact, Zellerfeld made the pair of shoes that Elon Musk bought for his son. At this point, you probably want to know how can this company actually change the sneaker world? Well, it starts by tackling one of the biggest downsides to the sneaker industry in general, waste. Did you know that 22 billion pairs of shoes end up in landfills every single year? And this shoe, along with every single sneaker that Zellerfeld produces, is 100% recyclable. Not to mention incredibly easy to clean. You literally just throw them in the washing machine. They are odor resistant, quick drying, and because there's no stitching, glue, or multiple materials, there's no weak point. So they're actually super durable. And because every single pair is created to order, there's no excess product or waste sat around in warehouses building up. Now just looking at this pair of shoes, you can obviously tell that this wasn't created like a regular pair of sneakers. And honestly, having these things in hand, I'm even more blown away by just how they feel. Like this is the first time I've ever felt a 3D printed shoe and it is fascinating. Now 3D printing or 3D printed shoes isn't exactly new. Even big brands like Adidas has been utilizing 3D printed technology in their sneakers. But what Zellerfeld does is something completely different to what we've seen before. Their shoes are made with automated production, which completely replaces the need for overseas factories and labor. And what I think is one of the coolest parts is the fact that anyone can make these. They actually just launched their new public beta, which means that individual creators can sell their own designs. So actually, every single pair of shoes that you see on their website has a different creator behind it. Delafeld even had Kanye West creating his own pair of boots for the Yeezy Season 9 fashion show. Because Ye's fashion show took place on such a tight timeline, Zellerfeld had to create these boots in just a weekend. And that is absolutely insane considering that a traditional boot would need months to be able to be produced. I mean, even though those boots looked pretty wild, Kanye West loved them and he actually said that that's the future of sneakers. I mean, we all know how Kanye West is with designs. He wants things done as soon as possible. Creators having the ability to have their designs produced for the public opens the possibility to level the playing field. For the most part, big brands dominate the design space, but the opportunity that Zellerfeld is offering really opens up the door for new and smaller creators to be able to bring bring their designs to life and to the public. Now you can find designs from some insanely creative people who may have never had the ability to produce a shoe of their own. I mean, just look at some of these designs on the website. They're absolutely wild. This pair called the Shuttle has an actual handle on the side of it so you can carry it around. You've got boots, slides, dress shoes, and futuristic spaceship looking shoes. You've also got some bigger designers jumping on board like Kid Super and Heron Preston. The possibilities seem to be completely wide open. Now the pair that I have was designed by MLLN, or Millen, I think is how you say it. Either way, the model itself is called the Prota. And this pair of shoes was actually designed using VR. You know, the headset that you use to play Beat Saber. Like, you can literally see the designer sat there with the headset on and the handles literally spinning up the design for this pair of shoes. It is fascinating. So listen, the reality is all of this stuff sounds incredible, but it only works if the pair of shoes is actually good. So how do these feel in hand and on feet? And are they actually comfortable? Are they actually actually practical? Well, I've been wearing them around for a while now, so here's my honest thought. Let's start off by saying that finally having a pair of 3D printed shoes in my hands is uh, definitely different to what I was anticipating. It feels way softer than I anticipated and way softer than a regular foam pair of shoes like the Foam Runner or any other slides. And just take a look at how these things move when you're moving them around. You can bend them around, flip them over, put them in half. They keep their shape. They're super durable. They're honestly one of the wildest shoes I've ever felt in my hands. And something that I thought was really fascinating with this pair of 3D printed shoes is how they've actually manufactured the entire shoe out of one piece of material. Some parts of it are a lot harder and a lot firmer, like the midsole, which is what you would want for a functional pair of shoes. You want this uh, midsole to kind of feel firm underfoot, but you also want the upper to be nice and soft. And this pair of shoes really achieves that. The fact that I just scanned my foot on an iPhone app using the camera and then managed to 
get this thing which fits perfectly is absolutely mind-blowing. They're honestly insanely comfortable, which I did not think I would say. Like if you feel on the inside the footbed of this pair of shoes, it's slightly spongy. It's almost like they layered it with something really soft. If you've never felt a 3D printed pair of shoes, it is definitely something you want to try. Like it is really interesting to feel it in hand and on foot and just imagine the, the printing process that this pair of shoes went through. It seems so simple, but the amount of technology that's in this shoe is, is just incredible. I will say the one downside I experienced when I was wearing this pair of shoes was the fact that this material is pretty sticky, which usually is fine for the outside. It doesn't really matter. But for the inside, when you have this really grippy material, it usually catches onto your sock. So it's actually a little bit of a struggle getting your foot in. And oftentimes it leaves a lot of the sock fluff around the ankle area, which could be pretty annoying. It honestly really doesn't bother me. However, I did think it was definitely worth mentioning. The potentials of 3D printed footwear are honestly fascinating. A good example for this would be like how your smartphone updates itself. Like if you're using it and a bug occurs, like your phone starts freezing up or you can't open an app for some reason, the manufacturer usually does a software update to resolve any of those issues. Well, Zellerfeld wants to operate in a similar manner. Zellerfeld is aiming that in the future, feedback on these shoes can be made in real time. And they'll be able to edit any of these issues in real time as well. So once the update is made on the pair of sneakers, the owner can send the pair back to Zellerfeld, which will repurpose the pair of shoes and send them a brand new model. Zellerfeld actually wants to operate more like an app store instead of a regular brick and mortar. So designers could upload their own ideas and shoppers can pick their preferred one and Zellerfeld will print it and ideally deliver within one day. I mean, obviously this is something for the future. Right now, when I ordered this pair of shoes, it took at least three weeks to get in. But all of this is very possible and can completely change the way sneakers are produced. And if you think about it from a designer's perspective, I mean, having this opportunity to bring your creation to life just like that. And typically, if you wanted to design and create a pair of shoes, imagine the production hurdles that come along with that. You'd have to design your shoes, bring it to a manufacturer, go through all of the sampling phases. And then finally, when it comes down to production, you usually have to spend a massive amount of money on a huge order minimum. This is why there's so many creators out there that have incredible ideas, but can't actually bring them to fruition. And this immediately gives sneaker designers the opportunity to bring their designs to the market. This is one of the coolest sneakers I've ever seen. Having the experience to try this pair of shoes out has been absolutely incredible. I think this is freaking awesome. I really like the design of this one. I maybe would have gone for a different colorway, but for a vibrant blue pair of shoes, this is about as good as it gets. I wanna hear from you guys, the sneaker community. What do you think of 3D printed shoes and is this technology the future of the sneaker industry? Drop your thoughts down in the comment section and if you wanna see something a little bit more traditional in terms of sneakers, well, that video's right there. We might have just discovered that uh, they're waterproof or at least water resistant. I just poured water all over it and nothing came on the inside.